Hi there! Today we're going to learn about putting our bow hand in the correct place on the bow to make a perfect bow hold. Okay, so before we get started, I want to show you a couple of things. I have my little handy little graph here. Yes, I drew that all by myself. I know, I'm pretty proud. Okay, so we're going to look real quickly. You can see um, there are three places, pink, green, and orange. So first I want to draw your attention here to the orange part. The orange part, if we follow the little arrow, it says cave. It's called the cave because it kind of looks like a cave. And you want to stay out of the cave, okay? Nothing goes in here. Only air goes in here. All right, next let's look at the green part right here. This little green, tiny little corner is green. We call it the corner. Look at that corner. Yes, your corner is where we are going to place our thumb, and I'll show you that in a moment. But please keep in mind, keep your thumb out of the cave and put your thumb in the corner, all right? The other place I wanna show you is a little pinky seat. Now there's really nothing here. Where this pink spot is, there's nothing there on your bow, but this is the area that is approved for your pinky tip to go, and I'll show you that momentarily as well. When I put my pinky on the bow, it goes right about here in the middle of the pinky seat, and it goes right along the edge of my frog. So any area right here is fine. So you wanna keep that in mind as we go through the next steps, okay? So, what I want to show you next is how to do a bow hold with a real bow, okay? I have a real bow here, and the first thing I want you to do is to hold on with it with two hands, just hanging on to it, okay? I call this chipmunk position because you kind of look like a little chipmunk about ready to have a little snack on a violin bow, but we don't really want that to happen. So, we're going to call it chipmunk position. Here we go. Now... I am making this video so it's actually a mirror for you. So this is the hand that's gonna make the, the bow hold. This is the hand that's gonna hold on. So while we're talking about this hand, let's talk to this hand. Hand, you are the helping hand. You must stay holding on until I say you can let go. Got it? Don't let go. Don't ever let go. Did you tell your hand? Hang on, okay. So chipmunk position. Here is our hanging on hand, it's the helping hand. This is our bow hold hand. So let's take, this is your right hand, okay? So shake off your hand like you're flicking off little bits of water. Flick, flick, flick. Okay, we're gonna let it just kinda hang there and if you see your thumb should kinda naturally just be hanging there, we wanna bend our thumb a little bit, okay? In order to properly put our th thumb in the correct place on the bow, it needs to go in the corner. So here is the corner, see it? I'm pointing to it from the outside so you can see it. Here's the cave, so again, Cave, ah, stay out of the cave. Do not get eaten by a bear, please. This is the corner. It's okay to go in the corner, okay? Going in the corner is not a good thing. Oopsie, I'm so sorry. I'm trying to move this out of the way. I'm back. Okay, <laughs> so we have flicked off the water. We're bending our thumb so you can kind of see your thumbnail. If you're doing this in a mirror, in front of a mirror, you can see your thumbnail. We're gonna put our thumb here in the corner Okay, it's not gonna stick through. You should not see any of the squishy part of your thumb. Okay, you should see your thumbnail. All right, still hanging on with my helping hand. All right, now, your two middle fingers, let's talk about them. You, this first one here, your actual middle finger, is gonna slide down to cover up the cave. It's gonna be like a little garage door going down over the cave. It's not going in the cave. It's just gonna go down like a little garage door. Let's put it down. Garage door went down. Let's have this finger join it. Now you have a double garage door. Okay, my hand is still hung, hanging on. So those two are there, my thumb is still bent. I have a lot of air in my hands, that big round air space right there, we want that. Now this finger is gonna flop, just flop over a little bit on its side. What you're gonna notice is that we're gonna have one knuckle on your side and one knuckle on my side. So it's really the flat part of this finger here. So there's two knuckles, here's the flat part, it's kinda hard to see, I'll turn my hand a little bit so you can see it. It's the flat part that's on the bow stick, okay? So this knuckle here is on my side. This knuckle is on your side, okay? Then my pinky is gonna tap, tap, tap on the top of the bow stick. Remember where the pinky seat was? Right there, and it's gonna stay up on top. Now my helping hand is still hanging on. Don't ever let go, I didn't say let go yet. You need two hands on the bow, okay? Now that we have everything in place, I'm gonna show you the side here so you're gonna see that we have this nice curved area right here and there's a lot of air right here, 
Okay, so now that we have everything in place, we're hung, hanging on with two hands, we're gonna tilt our bow towards the ceiling. Now the helping hand can let go. And now I'm holding a wonderful bow hold. See the nice curved pinky? My, two, my double garage door is there. This finger is nice and curved. My thumb is bent. You see my thumbnail right there, okay? So we're gonna go through the steps once more. I'm gonna show you a couple little things that you wanna be careful of. Number one, be careful that your thumb is not doing this. See the squishy part of my thumb? I can see the squishy part. I don't wanna see the squishy part. And I can't even see my thumbnail. So I'm gonna pull it back like this in the corner. See, I'm just showing you, I'm moving the garage door so you can see in the corner, okay? The other thing is you wanna be careful that this finger doesn't come too far over. If, this, if that knuckle that's supposed to be on your side comes over to my side, then we have a bowl hold that looks like this. And that's not okay, that is, that's too weird. So we gotta pull it back this way and see how everything else relaxes and is flexible. Okay, the other thing is pinky. If pinky sticks out too far and goes straight, this is a lot of tension. We wanna have a relaxed hand. Look what happens to thumb. Thumb is doing a straight, I don't know if you can see it. Thumb is being straight, bad thumb. So we've gotta correct the pinky and the thumb at the same time to make it work because they're really depending on each other. Okay, there we go. All right, so let's start from the beginning. Chipmunk position. Helping hand, helping, holding on. Here we go, flick off the water, bend your thumb in, put your thumb in the corner. Garage door coming down, other garage door coming down. Flop finger, one knuckle on your side, one knuckle on my side. Pinky tap in the pinky seat and stay. Point it towards the ceiling, don't let go yet. Okay, now you can let go. Ta-da! Now we're gonna see how it, how it works. Let's see if we can hold on to it. We're gonna do what we call a windshield wiper. Windshield wiper, did you feel it get heavier? Try again. Windshield wiper. Now, if you did the windshield wiper and your pinky slipped off and you ended up with a bow hold like this, don't worry, you can start over, okay? But we don't want a bow hold like this, okay? Grab on with your helping hand, pull everything back into place, get your pinky propped up there, thumb bent, go straight up, windshield wiper. You can do a lot of windshield wiper practices, okay? Okay, one more time. Last time, here we go. Shake it out, bend your thumb in so you can see your thumbnail. Put your thumb in the corner. Let's try double garage door coming down together this time. Garage door closed. Floppy finger. One knuckle on your side and one knuckle on my side. Let's see the other way around. One knuckle on your side, one knuckle on my side. Tap, tap the pinky in the pinky seat. Point it towards the ceiling. Let go. Ta-da! Good job, guys. Okay, next I'm gonna show you, um, I'm gonna put a couple of videos of students making bow holds so that you can see that everybody's bow hold looks different. As a reminder, this is what mine looks like, but everyone's hands are different. And so we're gonna see um, two different students making their bow hold and both of them are acceptable bow holds. They're both in different stages of their playing um, and they both have different hands, obviously. So they're gonna look a little bit different, but they're both making the bow hold correctly. Also, please note, when I created the video, I was making it so that it would be a mirror to you. So I was holding my bow with this hand, which is your right hand, right? Well, when I'm recording the video, it actually flips, and so it's gonna look like these students are actually holding their bow in the wrong hand, but they're not. I don't want you to get confused. So just note that they're actually holding it in the correct hand, but the image has been flipped, and so it might look like they're doing it backwards. But I just want you to see their hand shape. one over a little bit because we want a little bit of space there we go so we have this one coming over it's it's landing in between these two knuckles on the stick the pinky is nice and curved now let me see if i can see the thumb oh it's nice and bent let me go into here from this side look at that thumb so nice and this is what it looks like again from the front okay so here's a demonstration we're in chipmunk position so go ahead and move your bow hand onto the onto the frog everything in place good now can you point your bow towards the ceiling great and then we're going to look really carefully here see how the thumb is bent right in the corner just like we want it 
and our pinky is curved right here. All right, can you go back down into flat bow position? And I'm just gonna look over here. Okay, great. Now we're gonna look from this side and we're gonna notice how we have a nice curve right here. There's a lot of air right there. You can see right through. Pinky just curves right down. Excellent. Okay, so now that you know how to make your bow hold, practice it. And if you have any questions, be sure to reach out to your teacher. Happy practicing.